Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the most luxurious cars in GTA 5 Online that you guys can purchase. Everybody loves to drive around the streets of Los Santos in style, so let's add some class to that and take a look at some of the nicest luxurious cars in GTA 5 Online. I hope you enjoy the video. Before we get it started, check out Digazani down below in the description if you need any money in GTA 5 and get 10% off by using code FROLICS. With that said, I hope you enjoy and let's get it started. First up on this list is going to be the Cognacinetti Cabrio, and this is based off of a Bentley Continental GT in real life. In the game, it costs $185,000, and it's kind of a forgotten of car. A lot of people used to drive it around a really long time ago, but nowadays there's a lot of other cars in the game, and this one is kind of forgotten about. You can purchase it off of Legendary Motorsports, like I said, for $185,000, and the reason why I like it is because it's based off of a Bentley, and I think Bentleys are pretty luxurious, so if you customize it right you can make it look really really nice there isn't too many cosmetic upgrades to put on this car since it is an older car that was added a very long time ago but that doesn't mean that it's a bad car it's still really really nice and looks luxurious Next up is going to be the Enzus Windsors. We got the Windsor Drop and we also have the regular Windsor. Now, both of these cars aren't really too different in price. $845,000 for the regular one and for the Drop version of this car, it's $900K. They're based off of two Rolls Royces in real life, the Rolls Royce Ghost and the Wraith, which are two beautiful luxury cars in real life, which are very expensive. And in game, they look pretty nice as well. One of my favorite parts about the Windsor is you could put a Louis Vuitton livery or a the Santa Nova livery on it in game which I thought was pretty cool and looks really awesome. I've always driven them around if I wanted to drive around in style. One of my favorite customizations for them is to put that Santa Nova livery on it and then put it in black as well and then you guys can really see the livery pop out and it looks really nice. Next up is going to be the Enzus Stafford which is a four-door luxury sedan and it costs 1.2 million dollars. It's based off of a 1959 Rolls-Royce silver cloud which is a gorgeous car in real life obviously it doesn't look as modernized as cars do now because it's from 1960 but honestly in 1960 this was a very very nice car and even in game it looks really nice now has lots of cool upgrades and livery options and if you guys customize it right make sure you got that right color point and the perfect livery you can make this car look really really nice especially if you're going for that classic luxurious car garage this car will definitely be perfect for you it is fairly expensive at 1.2 million dollars more expensive than the other to Windsor and the Windsor drop that we just covered but honestly it's still a really nice looking car and if you wanted to buy it honestly it's worth it. Next up on this list is going to be the Enzus Huntley S yet another Rolls Royce brand in GTA but it's actually not based off of a Rolls Royce it's based off of a Bentley EXP 9F concept SUV. Some people think it looks like the Bentley Bentega, but I don't really think it does too much. It's a little bit too small, I guess, in the height scales, but it's not too expensive. It only costs $195,000. And some of you guys probably look past this because you see it as a street car all the time. But if you customize this, black it out, this car looks amazing. And it's also really, really fast, has a few cool customizations. And one of the best things about this car, personally for me, is going to be the headlights. I really like the look of the headlights and the grille. And honestly, when you put all of that together, it makes a really nice looking luxurious car that I guarantee you nobody else is going to be driving around because they all see it as a street car. So if you want something a little different that looks really nice, I would highly suggest you buy the Huntley S. Next up is going to be the Roosevelt and the Roosevelt Velour. It's a classic limousine that was featured in the Valentine's Day Massacre special for GTA 5, and it's based off of a 1928 Cadillac 341A town sedan, which is actually known as Al Capone's car, which is why it was kind of in that Valentine's Day Massacre update, which all makes sense if you guys didn't already know that. But it is a really, really nice classic looking car, and you can really pimp it out. One of the nicest parts about this car is if you guys really want to, go buy some Tommy guns, put on some really nice cool suits, hop on the side of it because this car allows you to actually have people standing on the side of the car 
and just go and murder everybody like they did back in the day. It's a really, really nice car, and it's not too expensive either. And if you were trying to pick which one to purchase, I would suggest going for the Roosevelt Velour. It has more upgrade options that you guys might like. It might be a little more expensive, but in my opinion, it's a little bit nicer. Next up is going to be the Albany Alpha, which is a pretty nice car on the Legendary Motorsports website. It costs $150,000, and it resembles the Cadillac El Miraja concept with a few different cues from other models, just like the 2013 Cadillac ATS and the CL, which are all pretty nice looking cars in real life, and in game, I think they did a pretty decent job on making this car. It is fairly old, and a lot of people would probably look past it because it's so cheap, and it's so far on that website all the way at the bottom, but honestly, it's still a pretty nice luxury car, and it is only a two-door, which I also like, and I think it just looks like a really nice car. If you guys are short on money and you're looking for something with a little bit of luxury, this car is definitely for you, but if you're looking for the most luxury out of the car that you're about to purchase, I would not suggest going with this car. This one is more for a beginner or somebody that's on a budget for a luxurious car. Next up on this list is going to be the Ballers, or if most people would know them, the Range Rovers. And in game, they look pretty nice. There is like six different Range Rovers, and they all pretty much look the same except for one, which is obviously the original Baller. Now, you can find them on the street and bring them into your garage, or you can buy them for prices up to $150,000. And I believe that the Baller LE is based off of the Range Rover Sport SVR, which is a very nice Range Rover in real life. And obviously, if you're looking for luxury in real life, why not go with a Range Rover? Because they're gorgeous cars. And even in-game, they look really, really nice. And I think Rockstar did a really good job of making these vehicles. They really aren't too hard to copy from real life and make another model of them in-game. And Rockstar did a great job on them. They don't have any upgrades at all. You could change the color of them, and you can also change the rims. But other than that, there really isn't too many other upgrades. But it doesn't really need them because it looks really awesome the way it is. Next up is going to be the Z-Type, and it costs $950,000 on Legendary Mode. Motorsports. It's a beautiful car, and it's based off of a 1937 Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic. If you guys were to pull up to a car show with this car, it doesn't matter what other cars are at that car show, this car will get all of the looks. And the reason why is because it's one of the rarest cars in the world. It costs $40 million to buy this car. They only made four of them, and there is only about one, maybe two left in the entire world. So if you were to pull up to a car show in real life with this car, it doesn't matter how many Lamborghinis or other cars are there, this car will get all of the looks. And in game, it's kind of true as well. In my opinion, if I saw this at a car show, I would spend most of my time looking at this because honestly, I think the Z-Type in-game looks amazing. And if you customize it right, you can make it look amazing as well. Next up is going to be the Paragon R, and it's also based off of a Bentley Continental GT, but it's a little more updated and it looks a lot nicer in my personal opinion than the Consignetti that we talked about at the start of the video. Now this car costs $905,000, but if you want to get it for free, you can get the armored version from Miss Baker by completing some contact missions at the casino. Now one of my favorite parts about this car, as you guys can see, is the livery. This is the Supreme Louis Vuitton livery in-game, because obviously they can't use Louis Vuitton and Supreme, so instead they use the Santa Nova and the Bigness brand in GTA 5, which I think looks awesome. This car is gorgeous, super fast, lots of cool customizations. Like I said, you can get it completely free and have it armored so it's even better and have all of the same upgrade capabilities. This is why this car is one of my favorite cars in the game, and obviously it's super luxurious because it's a Bentley and it looks just like the brand new ones, which is why I love it. Next up is going to be the Kamada. Now you guys can purchase it for 1.7 million or 1.2 million if you unlock the trade price, and it's based off of an Alfa Romeo Giulia, and I guarantee you I pronounced that right, I'm going to get roasted in the comment section just for that. But yeah, it's a really nice looking car. Some people would say it's not luxurious and it's more of a sports car, but in my opinion, I think Alfa Romeos in just general are really, really nice luxury luxury cars, and I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. And in-game, Rockstar did a great job of making this car, and when it came out, it was one of the first cars I drove, and I absolutely loved it. The sound that it came from that exhaust note, and all of the upgrades you could put on it, all tied together to make a beautiful car, and I would highly suggest you guys buy it if you love Alfa Romeos. The second you drive this car, you will not be disappointed because everything about it is perfect. Well guys, that is going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to smash a massive thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.